this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm doing a field investigation because I've heard reports that leaves are already starting to turn on the deciduous trees here in this country. I live in western New York, and right here we have an example of what they're talking about. Now this is 17 August 2014. Usually, you all see leaves starting to turn for at least another month. This is a maple tree. It is deciduous. And as you can see, some leaves have indeed started to turn. I got something else to show you. We're going to walk on over. You may have seen the sign. Yes, I'm doing my laundry. A couple of women came in. A woman came in to the uh, water man and started chatting it up so I couldn't rest. Like a line. If you can see that, we'll zoom in a bit. That's a Schumach tree. I'm not as familiar with them as far as what their habits are. But these leaves should not be turning this early in the season. That means we got trouble. If they're turning this year early in the season, more than likely we're going to have an even worse winter than we had last year. I'm going to take a look around and make go to that little park I was in before. And we will take a look at some things because we got major problems. I did see uh, some apples on my apple trees. There's a few, not very many. So the plant life around here was severely damaged by last winter. If we get another winter like that last one, we're going to be in serious trouble. So FX Mars again. If you look up, not much on these maple trees up here, but there's just a little bit. Summer's been unusually cool. I don't really mind it as a little cool, but the problem is it may portend a very, very harsh winter. Possibly even worse than what last one. So we're going to walk along. On a busy road. Traffic is constant, so nothing to do about that. We're going to go to that little park that I was in before. I hadn't planned to, but I think it's worth it to me. Again, just some tips. A few tips and stuff uh, on the deciduous trees that appear to be uh, turning at this time. This is along the road. Conditions in the park might be a little bit different. You know, all the while Al Gore, I said Al Gore, not Al Gore, I'd be cussed to the elitist son of a bitch. All the while, he keeps insisting the earth is warming up. The evidence we're seeing out on the street, inside a bunch of motorcycles, the evidence that we're seeing out on the street completely contradicts what Mr. Al Bohr said. Earth is not warming up at all. Our weather is getting cooler. We haven't had very many, uh, I don't think we've had any plus 90 degree days around here. I would have to check with the weather service to find out, but it's been just unbelievably cool around here. If you see this, there's uh, another deciduous tree. I think it's a maple. It's on somebody's property, so I can't go closer. But if you look uh, near the ends of the branches, they are getting to, uh, they are starting to turn. So there's some truth in what they're saying. I'm going to take a little stroll down the side street and see how much of this we see. I would say so far not a lot. 
this was September 1st might not surprise me, but uh, August 17th, they're running early. Yeah, there's uh, ancient legend about the woolly bears. I'm going to have to take a look at those, some woolly bear caterpillars. I really haven't seen any of those. Supposedly the broader the dark band, the worse the winter is going to be. I don't put any real stock in those things. But, because it's all genetics, but still. You know, nature is one big connected thing, and that may actually work that way sometimes. Not much there. Judging from what I've seen, there hasn't been a lot. Not so far. I'm going to take a look at that park, like I said. That's the next stop after I get my laundry and dryer. And we will go from there. I think the news reports are definitely correct. I mean, it is running early this year. Next stop. Public Park, we'll take a look at the foliage there. Alright, this is Artifacts of Mars again. Uh, I'm in that little park I uh, talked about before. A few people here. No big, we're only looking at the trees. Again, I don't know what species this tree is, but apparently, I'll try to get a little closer to it. Yeah, I don't know right off what species this tree is. Uh, you see for yourself, the leaves are starting to turn. Well, apparently some people are having a cookout or something, I'm not sure what's going on. You can see that some of the leaves are starting to turn on it. Most of them, oddly enough, seem to be on the eastern side. I don't know if that's significant or not. I'm going to pan the uh, field, and it really is not that obvious, at least around here. And the trees around here are pretty, uh, shall we say, tough. They have to be to pull up these bizarre winters that we have. Hey, I'm closing in on... There's a basketball court here, and then... There's a line of trees that go around the park. And what I'm seeing is a minor amount 
be honest with you, of uh, leaf change. I'm not seeing a lot. I have yet to visit the article, so I'll include the article in the YouTube description. It's on Drudge Report. You can clearly see there's a bunch of yellow in there. It's unusual that this would be happening, however. As, uh, I have studied plant science, uh, and what happens is that in the fall, a deciduous tree has it's like a waxy substance builds up around the veins of the leaves and chokes off the supply to the leaves. The supply of uh, nutrients that go to it. And what will happen is those, uh, the green chlorophyll starts to die off and then the reds, yellow, orange chlorophylls, things of that nature uh, start showing through. That's why you get the spectacular colors in the fall that you do. There's another tree that has just a few tips. Once again, mostly on the east side. I'm not seeing a lot right now. It doesn't necessarily concern me. We could have a mild winter for all I know. But I would just be aware of what's going on. Because this isn't looking good. And I'm going to forget 2013 and 2014 winter. That was so vicious I've never seen anything like it. It was like living in the Arctic Cumber for four year, four months, not four years, four months. I'm going to have to head on back. This is Artifacts of Mars. There's a big panoramic view. I can't afford any more time to uh, mess around here. Leaves are starting to turn just a bit, at least around here. It's not a lot. If it wasn't for last winter, I might not even care. But remembering last winter, remembering last winter, I uh, have to care. Because I never seen anything like that previous winter. Al Gore is still telling us the Earth is heating up uncontrollably. uncontrollably. And of course, the media says the same thing. But out here, among the people, we know the truth. It's a lie. The media is packed full of liars. They are leftists. They are communists. They hate freedom. They hate the United States. And they hate everything about us. I don't want, didn't mean to get out of a political rant, but you have to understand. All these towns, small towns are pretty much okay, but when you get into the larger cities, what some of us are aware of, and of course the liberals deny, is that there are a bunch of anti-Americans running these cities. It's like, it's been compared to an invasion of body snatchers. I hated that movie, but, uh, it's kind of an apt comparison. There's a small tree right over there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little maple. And what has happened over time is that our uh, cities have been infiltrated by traitors. Uh, I don't even know where they can't come from. I know I always hated the invasion of body snatchers, but it's an apt comparison. They've been in trade, infiltrated by anti-Americans who intend to bring this country down. One of the things they're using is global warming because while it is a fiction what they want to do 
is they want to take away your cars, your ability to heat and home. Basically, they want a bunch of source. It goes for the neocons too. They consider us to be source. So the global warming thing is BS. I mean, it is total 100 BS. 100% BS. I think that's the whole point of this. I'm not seeing a lot of this as far as the uh, leaf changing. I'm going to have to review the articles. I may be talking about different sections of the country. But these people are liars and they know they're liars. They've infiltrated the larger cities. they put traitors in power in the larger cities. There is no question about it. I've documented these sons of bitches in many of my videos. People doing completely irrational things. Well, it kind of reminds me of... There's an episode of the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation that it reminds me of. That episode was called Conspiracy. And what some people noticed was odd things happening in the Federation. Odd things that couldn't be explained rationally. And that's what we see happening, folks. I don't want to get into too much of a political rant. Your major cities have been infiltrated by traitors. Make no mistake. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate the American way of life, and they'll do anything they can do to bring it down. Like Al Gore will. And that includes inventing fake crises about the world heating up. Uncontrollably. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.